Hello, um, I'm going to show you how to make a really easy homopolar motor. Um, I've been working on this for a day or so, and homopolar motor consists of some very strong magnets, battery, and some solid copper wire. Um, this one I made here using copper wire. It took a really long time to make and was quite fiddly and difficult to get it to balance. It would come off a lot and it took a long time to get it just right. Um, one of the big problems is at the end of the battery there's a little bump on top of the tip which really stops things balancing right on the top. I found that quite hard. So what I thought I would do is come up with a much easier solution to the problem. So what I've decided to use is some self-adhesive copper foil tape, sticky back, cell tape, tissue paper or just normal paper and my battery and magnets. So the solution um, is just a small piece of paper and I've got here a double A battery to make a jacket that will fit a triple A battery and my magnets. So that's going to make my motor. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get the copper foil inside a cylindrical jacket. So here we go. What we're going to do is lie down the bigger AA mattri uh, battery on the paper. Then, so we start with a piece of paper and what we do is peel off the back of the copper foil and stick a piece of it to the paper um, not all the way up to the top and then what we're going to do is place a double A battery onto the piece of paper and we're going to fold over the copper wire the copper foil like so, so it goes over the top of the battery and makes contact. Okay, peel off the sticky back, like so. Okay, the next thing we we'll do is we're going to roll the battery into the paper nice and tight. Roll it up. Okay, so we've got the two pieces of copper foil. Battery rolled up. And I'm going to stick it with some sticky tape. Okay, so I've stuck that down with some sticky tape and I've trimmed the ends of my copper foil a bit. And uh, now what I need to do is to get the battery out. Give it a little shake. Get rid of the double A battery. So we're not going to be using that one because we're going to be using this one which is the triple A smaller battery okay so then the next thing to do is if I want to I can trim the top uh, but I don't need to I just need to get the contacts at the bottom the right length um, and to touch my magnets to make the whole thing spin so I've trimmed the top and just frayed the edges just for fun. And if I place it over my battery, I find that contacts are a bit too long and touch the f touch the table, so they need to be trimmed. So trim those off. Okay. 
until we get them the right length. Okay, it's not too bad, it's about the right length. Now we need to get them to make contact with the batteries at the bottom. So we need to try and bend them in a bit. This is the fiddly bit that takes a while. Getting them bended, bent in. Pop it back on. Trial and error. And there we go, it's off. Hey Presto, really easy homemade Homo Polar motor. Doesn't fall off, spins really easily, can be decorated. Nice and easy and cheap. Thank you.